You're right. It's white. It's that new Oxidol white. Yes, new Oxidol is white, and it washes clothes whiter than ever before. The cleanest wash you can get from any soap in the world. Oxidol's own Ma Perkins. You're right. It's white. It's that new Oxidol white. Women everywhere are talking about it. Procter & Gamble's great new Oxidol. New white Oxidol that washes clothes whiter than ever before. It's the whiter, whiter soap for a whiter, whiter wash. See for yourself next wash day. See, new white Oxidol give you the whitest Oxidol wash in history. The cleanest wash it's possible to get from any soap in the world. Now, your sheets and pillowcases and towels wash far whiter. So brilliantly white, you'll be amazed. You're right. It's white. It's that new Oxidol white. Yes, whatever the weather, even when you dry your clothes inside, you'll always get the whitest Oxidol wash you've ever seen. And what's more, this amazing new whiteness will stay in your wash as long as you use new white Oxidol. Stay for the life of your clothes. You'll want to try this new white wash day soap soon. Once you do, you'll never be satisfied with any other suds that fail to give you the sparkling white wash you get with new white Oxidol. And when you see how bright it gets your washable colors, you'll know new Oxidol is truly safe. Just the wash day soap you want for pretty prints and cottons. So get new white Oxidol now, and next wash day, be right. Get clothes white with new white Oxidol. The greatest Oxidol Procter & Gamble ever offered. The whiter, whiter soap for a whiter, whiter wash. And now, for Ma Perkins. Well, it's 10.30 in the evening. A lot has happened in the past 30 minutes. Ann Morrison has had two visitors at her suite in the Rushville Center House. One of her callers was Joseph. Angry, hurt, bitter. Ann had just decided to leave Rushville Center the next day, and she made a real effort to straighten things out with Joseph. But it wasn't easy particularly with a crazy man in the next room. Joseph left Anne's suite finally, feeling pretty sheepish and downcast. He couldn't tear himself away, though. He stood outside her door, and suddenly he heard her scream. He rushed back in and found a stranger with her, a man with a gun who talked insanely of killing all of them. Well, at that precise moment, over at the Bijou Theater, the first half of the evening's second double feature had just ended. And among those coming out of the theater were Willie and Abby Fitz. Listen. Oh, it's too long to sit in one place, Abby. Two whole pictures. Oh, sure. Sit all night playing cribbage. That's not too long. But go to a picture show, though, and learn something. That's too long. What do you mean, learn something? Them pictures? Smooching and kissing? <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're cute, Willie. Mr. Casanova Romeo Fitz. <laughs> Should we go get a soda? I don't care if you want to. Come on, let's. Let's go and splurge. Like we're 17 years old and having a date, huh? <laughs> okay, honey, sure, if you want to. <laughs> Maybe a double tutti fruity with nuts. That ought to be pretty yeah. good, huh? Huh? What was that? <laughs> Those are shots, Evie. Shots? What well, sounded more like Dracula? Jeepers, Willie, did you hear that scream? Come on, let's go down the street, see what's happening. I thought at first maybe it was a car backfiring. Cars don't scream. Jeepers, it was enough to turn the blood in your veins right to ice water. What do you suppose it was, Willie? Meanwhile, up in Miss Morrison's suite, stunned by the violence of the past two seconds, Joseph stares at one of the large windows extending practically from ceiling to floor, through which just a second before... Anne! Anne, he fell, stumbled backwards, went out through the window. Joseph, you've got to get out of here at once. But he may be hurt. We ought to see him. Come back from the window. Get away from there. There'll be people down there. You've got to get out of here, Joseph. But who was he? He may be hurt. Where did he come from? It's unimportant right now. He was in the other room. You mean he was here all the time? All the time that Joseph, I... Joseph, will you forget about him? Where he came from, who he is? I don't want you involved in this. Now, listen to me. Get out of here. Go down the back stairs so nobody will see you. And don't say anything about this to anyone. If anyone asks you, you haven't even seen me tonight. Do you understand? No, I don't. Joseph, you've got to leave here at once. He was here all the time. Who was he, Anne? Joseph, get out of here, will you? I don't want you involved in this. Please, please, Joseph, get out of here. Willie, look. Huh? There's Gladys over in front of the hotel. Maybe she knows what the hooping and hollering was all about. Yoo-hoo! Gladys! Gladys Tattleson! 
Heather, you don't have to shout, do you? She can hear you. Oh, well, folks know I'm calling if I don't shout. Oh, hi, Gladys. What? Oh, hello, Evie. Hello, Willie. Hello, oh, Gladys. What's the matter with you? Are you going to faint? It was the most horrible thing I've ever seen. What was? You mean the shooting and the hollering, Gladys? What was that? Yeah, Willie and me was just coming out of the picture show, and we heard it. We've been trying to find out what happened. Well, Tom Chapman and I, you've met him. You know, he's visiting us from Chicago. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Well, we were on our way to the picture show, and suddenly we heard some shots, and then a man screaming. We looked up, and there was a man falling out of a window or off the roof of the hotel. Or something. What? What do you mean, Gladys, falling? I don't know where he came from. Out in midair. He hit against that building across the hotel and landed in the alley. Oh. Golly. Oh, my. Willie, where are you going? Willie Fitch, you come back here. I, I, I gotta go see how he is, Eddie, whether I can help. You come back here right now, Willie. Oh. Keep me awake enough with your nightmares and dreamings. That's all you'd need. Uh, who is he, Gladys? Do you know? I don't know. Tom ran to see. I didn't have the nerve. Oh, here he is. Tom, how is he? You know Mr. and Mrs. Fitz? Yes, well, no, I don't know. He's just barely breathing. You better get a doctor over here in a hurry. Where's the telephone? In the hotel. Can I call for you? Uh, yeah, would you, Gladys? Uh, tell him to come right over. It's really an emergency. He's just barely alive. All right. And uh, you might have the hotel clerk come out. He might be able to identify him. He obviously came from the hotel. All right, Tom. Uh, Evie, you go with Gladys. I- I'll stay here with Mr. Chapman. Oh, Willie, you be careful now. I'll be all right. Uh, really pretty bad, huh? Yeah, it was a brutal fall. Just seemed to be shot out through space. Cracked his head against this opposite wall here and then landed down in the alley like a ton of bricks. Holy Moses. Has to come from upstairs, the top floor of the roof of the hotel. It's the only thing I can figure out. Here, uh, maybe you can identify him, Mr. Fitz. Um, are you squeamish? Well, I can think of other things I'd rather do. I know what you mean. Pretty banged up. Should have had Gladys call the police, too, I guess. Well, we can get Jim Tookie over here in a jiffy. He's the constable, and... uh, uh, Oh, jeepers. Yeah. Mm. Had quite a fall. Uh, Are you... Are you sure he's alive? He... He doesn't look it. Do you know who he is? No, but I, I... I never seen him before in my life. He ain't from around here, I can tell you that. Yeah. How, how is he? You'd better call the constable. He's dead. And now, back upstairs in the hotel, Joseph, having taken his departure, Ann Morrison has run across the corridor to the room occupied by her co-worker, Alfred Sinclair. Oh, oh Lord, Alfred, oh, Lord. Now, now, look, Ann. I know this is easier said than done, but there's no time for hysterics. Now, you say Brad Gorman fell through the window. It was ghastly. No, 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 wait. You say this just happened. Just a few minutes ago. It all happened so quickly. I was waiting for Joseph. You said he was on his way down. To go to the door and find Brad standing there after seven years. And then, of course, Joseph turning up five minutes later. I pleaded with him to go away. I swore I'd phone him later. He wouldn't listen, though. He, He said he just had to see me then and there. And all the time he was pouring out his heart to me. Brad was in the other room with a gun. Oh, finally Joseph left. And then Brad came out of the bedroom and waved the gun around and said he was going to kill me. I must have screamed because the door banged open and there was Joseph. He'd come back. Oh, it was fantastic. Brad saying he was going to kill me. I grabbed hold of him and Joseph rushed at him and and suddenly, suddenly Brad fell over backwards. He hit the window. It broke to smithereens. He fell screaming. (laughs) Oh, I'll never forget that scream as long as I live. Okay, Anne. Alfred, where are you going? Downstairs. Why? Well, in the first place, Brad Gorman may need medical attention. He hasn't been discovered yet. We've got to get a doctor for him. But there are bound to be questions. How did we come to know about it? Anne, there are going to be questions whether we go downstairs and report this or not. After all, he went through a window. It won't require a mastermind to trace the fall to your room. Now, did you tell Joseph who Brad is? No. No, certainly not. Oh, Alfred, must we tell that? After seven years, do I have to go through all that again, all that ancient history? The newspapers will play it up. I'm not worried about that so much either as I am. It'll be bad enough, darling, just forgetting the memory of his scream as he went through that window. Oh, do do I have to try and live down the memory of the years I spent with him all over again, too? All right, we'll we'll just say that, well, that we've never seen him before. We? Yes, of course. 
Well, but I don't want you involved in this either. Now, don't be silly. You told Joseph to say nothing, didn't you? I told him to, whether he will or not. Well, I... that's, that's fine. Now, you go to your room. I'll go on downstairs. What are you going to say? Well, we've both got to tell the same story. We'll tell the simpler story. It's been done before. We'll just say we were spending the evening together in your suite packing. Suddenly, this man came in and tried to hold us up. Alfred, that sounds very thin. Well, have you anything better to offer? Now, he entered our room, your room. There was a scuffle. I tried to disarm him. He fell over backwards and went out the window. I, I know it's a very feeble alibi, but let's try it, shall we? It'll at least keep Joseph's name out of it. Oh, and I'm very proud of you, incidentally, for thinking of him and wanting to shield him. It's about time I thought of someone beside myself. Okay, darling. Now, you go to your room, and I'll go downstairs and see whether I can sell our alibi to the police. You're right. It's white. It's that new Oxidol white. Wait till you see it. That new Oxidol white from new white Oxidol. Yes, now there's a new white Oxidol, the greatest Oxidol Procter & Gamble ever offered. And it washes clothes whiter than ever before. Glance at new white Oxidol in the package. See for yourself. It's a whiter, whiter soap. For a whiter, whiter wash. But here's what's really important. Now your Oxidol wash will be whiter than ever. The whitest Oxidol wash in history. The cleanest wash it's possible to get from any soap on earth. You're right. It's white. It's that new Oxidol white. Yes, whatever the weather, even when you dry your clothes inside, you'll get the whitest Oxidol wash you've ever had. And that new whiteness stays in your wash for the life of your clothes, as long as you use new white Oxidol. It's truly safe, too. Wonderful for washable colors. They come out even brighter. So next wash day, be right. Get clothes white with new white Oxidol. The whiter, whiter soap for a whiter, whiter wash. Well, a man lies dead in the alley back of the Rushville Center House. And Alfred Sinclair is going to take full responsibility for the death. What will Joseph say when he hears? And Ma... Knowing that Joseph was determined to see Anne tonight, how is he going to feel when she hears that a man fell to his death from Anne's room? Well, now this is Charlie Warren inviting you to listen again tomorrow to Oxidol's own Ma Perkins. Same time, same station. You're right. It's white. It's that new Oxidol white. Yes, new Oxidol is white, and it washes clothes whiter than ever before. The cleanest wash you can get from any soap in the world.